sir, what's the story? I, I, it's kind of vague. Yeah, so they found him. They found him on a cliff. Unable okay, to get yeah, him down. We have a very high risk hoist to do. He has nowhere to go. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's make sure we're doing this right. Let's talk, sir. That's quite the drop right there. Look at that creek. Claude, you looking out the window? I'm looking at him. He's right. in a little pocket. So you see, uh, you see, you got him, right? Yeah. You got a couple shelves. He's on a shelf. A little one, obviously. Actually goes out a little bit above him. The protruder is actually out above him, which is going to be difficult. Obviously, we can't get him to move anywhere. He was in a little bit of a nook. And one of the things that we actually had an issue with was right above the person, the cliff face actually moved outwards again. So he was kind of hidden under a little bit of a shelf. If we can't get close enough next to the cliff, we might have to get on top of the cliff. We are 100% going to be rubbing on that cliff edge. I'll give you as much as I can, but you know, we're going to have to do this somehow. So we're just going to have to do it. The problem that we had was with that little overhang above the person, our hoist cable could actually rub on the rocks. And if that happened, you have the possibility of the hoist cable parting. The rescue swimmer could actually fall off the cliff, or we could have a rescue swimmer and another person stuck on a cliff and needing rescue.